Hello, Brown Page Gamers. It's Pink. Yeah, uh, Pinkish Page Gamers. He's feeling a bit ishy today, so it's going to be Pinkish Gamer. Today, I am back in Scott Mechanic, finally. Ah! Yeah! Doing my head in this. Look at it, it's all crumpled and squished. Anyway. So today, I've made a few things. I've updated the elevator because I think that's the last video I made. So, it's been a while. So this is the first thing. It's terrible. I'd just like to let you know that now. It can do little boogies, which is nice. Dun, 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 dun. But then you can actually drive it like this. So that's alright. And it drives pretty decent. It's a little bit tippy over here, but that's okay. Um... Die. Um, then I've made this little like pickup thing, which I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'll probably move these at the side, but it just looks even worse without them. So, let me know what you think of this, and I'll come back to that later. Um, so, here it is only one of these engines used. I don't even know if the engine. Yeah, they are. No, they're both used. One for each side. Anyway, that is pretty much it. So let's get in and visit the elevator because I've made a few updates. So, let's go. And it runs really well, this. It's not too bad to drive with. I mean, the suspension is always, like, bottoming out. But other than that, it's fine. So, let's go. To the elevator, which is down here, somewhere down here, in this general direction. Yeah, it drives really well. It's not too. It's like it skids, but it kind of. It's really easy to keep control of, and I'm quite happy with it. Is it here? Yes, it's here. Now then. Oh, I also made that when I was uh, waiting. Right, so first thing you might have been able to tell is this is still not all the way up to the roof. It's probably getting shorter because since that video, everything went really bad and I had to restart. There's this little thing here. It's terrible. It tips over. There you go. I tried to make it not tip over. But it's still terrible. So I'll just leave that there. Although, actually. Let's stick it on one of them and hope not. Yeah, it's not as laggy now. Right, so. Since the last video. I've added these at the bottom. And that looks broken. Hope it ain't. Oh, it is. Let's just sort that out. Where does it need to go? Here. Oh. It seems to be okay now. Let's see. And I want it 25. There we are. So. Let's give this a quick run. You may be wondering why there's toilets and everything. Um, it's because I made it so someone could have... Uh, Join me, but they never did. Oh, and listen to this. Feel much better now. Right, so the first thing you do, this is much better than before, by the way. Normally, right, that's it when it's not attached, no, it drives. Then, if you want to go up and down, what do you need to do? Yep, you're right. Let's uh, connect it. Oh, it seems nicely connected now. And then, Ooh, check that out. It's a little bit more stable. Let's go higher. New, new. Yeah, and it goes down as well now, look. Because the wheel is going reverse. So there you go, that's pretty much all that I've changed on that. Now, let's have a quick looky look at this. This back thing here is supposed to be suspension, but because I'm stupid, I made it so that the weight is pushing up 
kind of thing. So when that's down, that wheel's gonna wanna go up, but it's already fully up. It needs to be the way around, but anyway. Got these wheels, just normal turny stuff. Like I said, I mean. See, nothing happens. It does at the front because the weight's getting taken in there, but on this, nah. It needs to be the other way around. But anyway, that's that's fine. That is fine. Like, what needs to happen is these need to be there instead. Yeah, they do. Anyway. So, let's have a look at this. This is a little bit more technical. So you got the wheels up to the engines. Uh, the left engine is for the left side, the right engine is for the right side. Same old. I've gone with that the entire time. Because there's no middle. So it'd be uneven if I only used one. So that's why I have to use two. Well, I don't have to, but I prefer to use two. Right, and then there's the doors, which is all controlled at the back here. Dun and dun. And then there's some spare wheels and stuff to add weight. Because it just, it was very, um, high at the back and very low at the front because the weight of the engines and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, that's that, the controllers. And it's pretty similar, same as the other vehicles, really. The button does that. You know, you've got the wheels. But this is probably one of the best handling vehicles I've got at the moment. I'm really happy with it. It handles very well. So, let's go back to our main base. Maybe I'll move the main base over here. To the elevator. Um, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys want. Do you, do you want me to move all the stuff over? So it's all in one local area? Or are you bothered? Although at least it gives us a testing track. But you can see the suspension really working. It's not too bad. But anyway. Let's go over this little ramp. Uh, yeah, it drives really well. Which surprised me actually. I was expecting it to be very, like, unstable. But anyway. Oh, and the back opens as well. Well, it's not now because it's probably broken, but... If I reset it, it should be fine. Oh. Now the truck's at the very bottom. It's rolled off the edge. Oh, well. That probably not helping the FPS. Right, now then. That's over. And that's fallen as well. Let's save it quickly. There we go. Right then. So here is this creation. It's not quite as interesting. I mean, it doesn't turn unless you're in the full mode. Like this. And even when it does, it's very unstable. But you know, it's actually kind of fun to drive. So you can like... I don't know. It's just... It's kind of fun. You can see the suspension works pretty well. But yeah, this is very simple. It's just a few bearings. And on the press of a button, they just rotate. Now these are the controllers. They all rotate... Well, pretty much 90 degrees. Well, it's not really, but you saw it. There they go. It's just a normal steering for this here. Like, 4 before steering. But then when you press these buttons, you can e you can extend them. And it's a good dancer. Yeah, so you can... Uh, probably if you get the weight right, you could probably do little wheelies by doing this. And uh, shifting the weight around. So yeah, there's not much else I've really done in Scrap Mechanic recently. Worth showing you. Um, I've been very not bothered to produce videos recently. So let me know what you want to see. I don't, yeah, so let me know what you want to see. Um, and you may see it. I'm also thinking of doing some kind of like... Uh, face reveal perhaps at 200 subs but yeah I'm not too sure at the moment but you know feel free to uh, subscribe just so you can tip me at me for that or no it's up to you but anyway uh, I probably won't do that I probably won't ever make a subscriber special because I just I'm too lazy 
I mean, I don't even have a channel description, so if you're expecting me to make something like a subscriber special, then think again. So, thank you all homies for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, now, let's go up to the top and take a little uh, screeny. A screenshot for the thumbnail. Let's just let that go off the edge. See you later, alligator. Oh, okay. Let's take a good old selfie. Um, first of all, um, get rid of this poo. There we go. And cutting. Thank you all for watching. Oh, I just dropped my phone on my toe. Thank you all for watching and I will see all the homies in the next video. Bye. Ha! What up, what up? Just push the button and let me go before I... Before I... Push the button let me go before I... Push the let me go, let me go, let me go.